Namaste friends, welcome. One of the number one concerns that people have in yoga is their tight hamstrings. They're always trying to open up their tight hamstrings. And so today what I wanna do is give you some hacks and tools on how to open up your tight hamstrings <laughs> with these simple techniques. One of the things from a Niyama perspective, applied yoga anatomy and muscle activation perspective is to understand why we have tight hamstrings. One of the biggest reasons why we have tight hamstrings is because the muscles surrounding the hamstrings aren't doing their job properly. They're not contracting properly, they're not activated. And so what happens is the brain sends a message to the hamstrings that, hey guys, we need more stability, so contract, contract, contract. And so the hamstrings start contracting, tightening up as a protective mechanism because the body senses instability. So we wanna get the other muscles working properly. We're gonna do a little bit of a test first uh, to see what's happening with our hamstrings. <laughs> and then we're gonna do a few hacks and see what happens once we've done those hacks to get the muscles around the hamstrings activated and you're gonna see the difference afterwards. So using these simple techniques, you can start to open your hamstrings. Really what we're doing is we're actually creating more stability in the body. We're activating the muscles of the body that's ultimately gonna give you more confidence and most importantly to you, more range of motion in your hamstrings. So come onto your back first. And what I want you to do here is to straighten the legs out and then lift your right leg up and just notice what your range of motion is here lower the right leg down and lift the left leg up okay so yeah just kind of just see what your range of motion is here now we're going to start off by coming onto the stomach and bend your right knee and bring your right foot, your right heel, into your right glute. Now I want you to engage your glute as much as you can and lift that knee up. Don't let the right pelvic bone come up. So just lift the knee up. You can let your forehead come down. I'm just keeping my head up because I've got the mic here. But just lifting that leg up as much as you can and then come back down. Do it again. So bring the right foot, the right heel of the foot, into the right glute and then lift that knee up keep that foot in as much as you can squeeze it in squeeze it in squeeze it in and then down bring that right foot in the right heel in squeeze it and then lift it up and then down and bring the right foot in squeeze the glute Keep the foot coming in, keep the foot coming in, keep the foot coming in, and then down. And bring the foot in again. Squeeze the foot to the glute as much as you can. Nice. Lift it up a little bit more. Lift it up a little bit more and then down. And we'll do it one more time. Squeeze the foot in. Nice and then lift up the knee. Squeeze the foot in as much as you can. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, and then down. Let's do the same on the left side. Bring the left heel of the foot towards the left glute, and then lift it up. Squeeze it, squeeze it, and then down. Bring the foot in, squeeze the heel of the foot to that left glute. Now squeeze the glute and lift it up. Don't let that left pelvic bone come up. So leave the left pelvic bone down as best as you can and then let the left foot come back down. Bring the left foot in, squeeze the glute and lift up. There you go. Lift up a little bit more and then down. Bring that left foot in, squeeze the glute and lift it up. Very nice. Lift up a little bit more 
and then down. Let's do it again. Bring the foot in, squeeze the glute. Keep squeezing the heel of the foot towards the glute as you lift that knee up. Lift it up and then come back down. We'll do it one more time. Squeeze the heel of the foot to the left glute and come on up. And then down. Very nice, my friends. Okay, come on to your back. Very good. So we're going to do bridge pose now. So bring the arms out to the sides. Have the heels of the feet just on the outsides of the hips. And lift up. Now as you're coming up, I want you to squeeze the glutes as much as you can. Squeeze the glutes. Press down into the inner heels of your feet. Lift up a little bit more. And then come on back down. Very nice. And then come on up. Squeeze the glutes as much as you can. And come on down. And lift up. Squeeze the glutes. Push down into the inner heels of your feet. Lift the toes up for a moment. Squeeze the glutes. Lift up a little bit more. And then come on down. Nice. Jiggle your glutes just a little bit now. Come on up. Squeeze the glutes. Lift up a little bit more. And then come on down. And lift up again. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. Lift up a little bit more and then come on down. Okay, this time you're gonna change it a little bit. So, lift the hips up. Now, pull the heels towards your shoulders. Pull them. And lift up a little bit more, and pull them, and then down. Woo! Okay, we're gonna change it up again. So, lift your hips. This time, I want you to anchor down into the right heel of the foot. Come up onto the left toes, left pink, left big toe, now lift up a little bit more by pressing down into the right heel. Press down into the right heel and then come on down. We're going to do that again. Have both feet on the ground. Lift up. Now anchor into the right heel of the foot. Slowly come up onto the left big toe. Try to lift the left big toe a little bit away from the floor. Just a little bit but really anchor down into the right heel of the foot. And you're going to feel this really in your hamstring more than your glute. And then come on down. Nice. Jiggle your glutes out. Take a breath in. And exhale. Lift up again. Press down through both heels of the feet. This time come up onto the right big toe. Press down into the left heel of the foot more. Now feel like your whole body is being supported in that left heel. Lift up a little bit more and then come on down. Nice. We'll do that again. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Good. Come on up. Push down into the heels of the feet and then slowly come up onto that left big toe. Press down. Anchor down into that left heel. Anchor down. Woo. Ah. <laughs> Push up a little bit higher. <laughs> Lift the right toes up a little bit. And then come on down. Ah, oh, straighten the legs. Oh, that was delicious. Can you guys feel your glutes and your hamstrings talking to you? Nice. Okay, we're going to do one more thing here. So, bring the knees above your hips. Bring the hands forward and bring the knees into the hands. Now this is the quick hack. We could actually slow down and take our time with this one. There's a few other options, 
but we're sort of going for broke right now so <laughs> i'm gonna just take you to my how should i say <laughs> push the knees into the hands uh, more extreme measures so you're going to straighten the legs and have the legs about 30 degrees off the ground okay tighten the glutes tighten your quads and then slowly come on down Take a breath in and exhale out. Good, bring the knees back. Hands towards the knees. You're pressing the knees into the hands. You're not pressing your hands to the knees. You're pressing your knees to the hands, okay? So press them in. And then straighten the legs. Have the legs about 30 degrees off the ground. Tighten the quads. You can see my hands are on my quads here. I'm just checking in with my quads, making sure that they're engaged and then slowly down. Again, we're really looking more to activate these muscles. It's not so much about strengthening them, although you do feel stronger once they're activated. You feel more stable. Bring the knees up, hands to the knees, press the knees into the hands. Hold it there for three, four, five, six, straighten the legs. Good, engage the quads. And then back down. Relax, take a breath in. And let's do it again. So if both legs are too much of a challenge for you, which is fine, by the way, you don't you don't want to cause your muscular, neuromuscular system more stress. We're actually trying to reconnect it. So if you're experiencing more stress, back off. It's not worth it. Straighten the leg. So again, if you want, you can just have one leg up. Three, four, five, six, and back down. And you can just pause the video if you want to do the other leg. If not, keep going. And the knees to the hands. Push the knees in. And then straight the right. Again, have your hands in the quads. You might notice that your quads are engaging more and more each time. That's a great thing. And then back down. And guess what? We just have one more to do. Bring the knees to the hands. I told you, we're going to go. <laughs> Push the knees into the hands. It's almost over, though. Two, three, Four, five, six. Bring the legs. Two, three, four, five, six. Very nice. Slowly bring the left leg up. Notice if it's easier, your hamstrings are looser. Okay, you have more range of motion. Do not grab the leg. Bring the legs forward. Do not stretch in the back. Body's natural, natural, natural muscular system. So again, just notice if the range of motion is improved on the right leg. And that's it for opening up our hamstrings. I hope you, as you stand up, you feel stronger and more stable in your body. Notice that your range of motion is improved. And even though we didn't really work on our core, you probably noticed that because the lower body is activated, the body is more stable and strong as well. Have a super wonderful day, my friend. Lots of things to empower you so that you can go out and manifest and live in the life purpose.